we're making little straws that we can slide igniters through to allow us to fire a two-stage rocket. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these little straws. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today, I'm going to show you my technique for making these little straws. Now, this is probably the hardest step in constructing this rocket to be a two-stage model. Uh, we're building the uh, Terrier or the Sandhawk from Locke. Um, now, these little tubes have to be 12 inches long, approximately, a little bit under. Um, so you're going to need a sheet of paper that's 12 inches long. Um, so I cut this from 11 by 17 sheet. So it's 12 inches long and one and three quarter inches wide. Uh, you also need a 3 16 inch launch rod. Uh, make sure you clean this good. Um, take it with some steel wool and polish it up as, as shiny as you can because that will make it easier to slide off later after the glue dries. Um, you also need a little bit of Vaseline, some wood glue, and some water, and paper towels, and a plastic bag. Um, now I'm going to start. Stay. I'm going to start this by finding the middle of the paper, and I'll just fold it in half to find the middle. Right there, and then I'm going to just draw a line right there in that crease um, because this paper wants to flatten out and we just want to make sure that we know where the middle is. Um, then we're going to take um, the plastic, put it down on the table, but before we put the glue on, I want to take some Vaseline and I want to just put a thin coat of Vaseline on the launch rod. Um, because if any glue gets underneath the paper, it will stick to the launch rod and it will stick really good. And the only way you're going to get it off is to cut it off and then you can start all over. Fortunately, these are cheap. It's just paper. Um, so you can make as many as you want. Um, as you can see, I've made a lot of them and I tried a lot of different techniques to make these. And what I'm showing you is the technique that I think works the best. Um, I've also did a, um, a newsletter article um, using um, white glue and a monocoat iron. That works really well, um, and you don't have to put Vaseline on everything. Um, but not everybody has a monocoat iron, iron, so that's why I'm going to show you this technique. The tubes aren't quite as good, but they're good enough. Uh, nobody's going to see it, so nobody's going to criticize you on your tube. So as you can see, I'm only putting glue on one half of the paper. And then I want to smear it around, make a nice even coat. Remember, keep it on that side of the line, because otherwise you could have sticking problems against the launch lug or launch rod. Yeah, see, I got a little bit of glue right there. Try to get that off. Okay, now I want to smooth it out as, to make a nice even coat. And for that, I'm going to get some water and I'm going to try to squeegee it off. And you can see I am getting my paper wet, which is what I want to do anyway. Um, I need that paper wet so that it will curl easier. So in fact, I'm just going to take a little bit more water and just saturate the paper. Okay. And you're going to get both sides like that. And then I'm going to take my launch rod. Let me get these out of the way. And I want to take the unglued part and put that down first. Um, by making it wet, the, uh, the fibers will curl easier around the launch rod. you got to get it off of that. It kind of helps to have it hanging off of your work table. Uh, but I'm probably out of the camera view if you can't see it now. 
So I'll try to bring it back into camera view and I want to wrap it around and getting that edge to stick to the launch rod is the hardest part. So just kind of work slow. You can add a little bit more water. It's all going to have to evaporate anyway. Just be gentle. Try not to tear the paper. Um, as I said, you can start all over if you want. And I'm going to want to get this side wet too, because I want it really floppy so that it curls easy. I'm trying to, I got a little bit of excess glue there and I don't want it to get it on the, on the launch rod. So I was trying to wipe it up. Now you, as you're going around, you can kind of feel it if it's not laying down properly, like right in here. I can feel it. That's okay. Um, you can see it's, it's kind of bunching up a little bit right here. Get this out of the way. Maybe you can see it better. Um, it's kind of folding in on itself. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, you're probably not going to be perfect, which is okay. Um, and then I'm going to try to squeegee some of the water out carefully, carefully, carefully. And you can see the paper is folding in on itself. That's fine. I can live with that. Okay, so I got some big folds, and I'm going to roll it on the table. Try to flatten it out as good as I can. This is going to be strong enough. Um, it actually gets glued to the inside of the body tube of the rocket. So it's, um, the strength will come from the tube itself. Um, this is just so that the wires will, will slide through easily. Um, from the front where the electronics are to the back where the rocket motor is. You can see I'm just kind of flattening it out as best I can. I got some, I got some creases, that's okay. Um, you can't move it at this point because it's so wet um, that You'll, it'll just crush it. So at this point, you got to let it dry. Um, so if you touch it and it feels cool to the touch, that means the water is still trying to evaporate out. Um, I like to stick them outside in the hot sun, um, and then they, they dry within 20 minutes. Um, I have one over here that I did earlier. Um, and then when it's dry, you can just slide it right off. Careful, give it a, just twist it as you're, you're doing it, and it will come off the launch rod. And it's strong enough. Um, you can try it a couple of different times, see if you get one that you really like. Um, but there's basically two layers of paper right here, um, and that's strong enough, and I can slide the, the igniter right through it. So that's my technique on making these tunnel conduits. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milgen. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. In our next video, we're going to install this in the rocket um, and then cut it to length um, and then get ready to start cutting the cover in the tube.